Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can set up these body hit points. So when the bullet hits the body you can set up different hit points for different body parts. So let's go. First of all we need to add up these crosshair to the viewport so we can shoot more precisely. That's pretty easy. You go right click, use interface widget. I already prepared one, this one here. As you can see just for size boxes with a white border in the exact middle of the viewport. And then we just go right click, blueprint class and we search for HUD, this one here. I already created this one as well called Crosshair HUD. And this is just for the begin play. We create the Crosshair widget and we add it to the viewport. And then we just go to the settings, project settings, maps and modes and we just add up the crosshair hut here to the hut class. In this way we can just hit play. As you can see we have these crosshair all the time and we can shoot more precisely. For this system we will use the custom weapon from the last tutorial, link is in the description. So let's open this up here. As you remembered we have the projectile offset, we have the ammo and the sound, so we have to make adjustments to the offset that we can really shoot between the crosshair. For this let's go to our custom ammo here and make it much bigger, so let's say 10. When we now hit play and shoot you can see where the bullet is going, so we have to make the adjustments for the offset that we really shoot with the crosshair here. For this we have to play around with this value here. I already tested this. In my case it is 100 minus 35 and 20. When we now hit play you can see we shoot precisely with the crosshair. So we can set up the ammo back to normal sizes like this one and close this here. Now we need an enemy that we can shoot. For this I have this skeleton here with a montage when he gets hit. Just an example, of course you can use whatever you want. So the skeleton is basically a third person character with a different mesh and different animation class. The only special thing is this death boolean here with a different status, but it's not necessary for this system here. First of all we need to add up some different variables. The first one will be the health itself as an integer. When we compile and save this we can set a default health, let's say 30. The second one will be the hit points. This is also an integer. The next one is the stunt. Stunt is a boolean and the last one is the destination as a vector. Compile and save this and we go to the event graph. First of all we start up with the event tick here. We take out the death boolean as well as the stunt boolean here. We need an or to connect them. We need an branch to ask. We take out the character movement as well and we want to say stop active movement. So when we are death or stunned the skeleton should not move anymore of course. On false we say AI move to. We need a reference to self for the born here. So we could connect the destination variable right now but just for testing I want that the skeleton just work to the player. For this let's say get player porn, get actor location and connect it with the destination. Great, now we need the hit system. For this let's open up the details, select the mesh and go to the on component hit. Then we go from the hit and say break hit result. Open this up here and just for testing let's say print string and connect the bone name so we can see which bone we're hitting. Again from the bone name we say switch on name. Like this one. So now we can decide how many damage a specific hit to a bone do. 
for example, let's open up the details again. And for case one, we will call this head. You have to check up which names the specific bone have. So let's open up the mesh again, go to the skeleton mesh, open up the skeleton itself. And now we can see which are the bone names are and we can decide which one we want to set up. Let's go back to the skeleton. Just for example, we keep the head here as a bone name. Then we want to set the hit points for the head. Let's say this will be 30. That means since the character has only 30 health, it will be a one shot. And on default, we want to set it to, let's say 10. Just for example, of course, you can choose whatever you want. Then we take out the health. We take out the hit points. We say minus, in this case, subtract, put it right here. And then we want to set the health, of course, to the new value. Then we need to check, is it less equal than zero? We take a Boolean to ask here on true. We want to set the death Boolean to true. On false, we want to set the stunt Boolean to true. Let's say after five seconds, the body should disappear in this case. So we just call the destroy actor. And down here, we want to say play animation montage. And we select our hit montage for self. We need a little delay, connect the return value here. And then after this, he is not stunned anymore, so he has played the animation for stunned and is not stunned anymore. To play an animation montage, you have to be sure that you go to your animation class, open this up here, go to your animation graph itself. So we have the default state machine and be sure that you add up these slot default slot. Otherwise, you can't play an animation montage. The last step is we open up the details of the capture component and we need to set the collision presets to custom and be sure that you set the projectile to ignore. Otherwise we can't get any bone names because the capture component don't have any bone names, only the mesh has these options. Let's go back to our level. If you want that the skeleton works to the level, we need to add up the nav mesh bounce volume. On P, you can see the range where the skeleton can go. Let's hit play. We can take the weapon here. We can shoot at the skeleton. You can see in the left upper corner which bone we're hitting. And now he's dead. Let's do this again. This time we hit the head specifically and it's instant death. And after five seconds, the body disappear. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.